Hi guys! So, today is Tuesday already and it's 10.28 in the morning. <clears throat> yes, I'm here in Makati. I actually came from the office. I would not say that I came from work. That is because I'm not. I actually went there last night. I, I get into the office like 2.19 guys, I guess. 219 or 221 something like that I came into the office and unfortunately I'm not really feeling well so I decided that I would just sleep there and would text my supervisor <sighs> guys I, I don't really understand my health anymore I think Dr. Carla is right that I need to change my nature of work because it's getting the best out of me and yeah anyways right now I decided that I have to go out at this hour because in an hour um, my colleagues would actually be going out or I mean um, out of the shift already I don't even know what I'm talking about but guys I'm getting frustrated every single day. I don't really know if I will have to share it with you guys, but yeah, there are a lot of things that's happening in my body right now and which I totally don't understand anymore. So I'm trying to to keep up. Actually I have this plan that you know I'll be starting again, starting this Monday and that like I'll be doing alternative uh, alternative days let's say I have a schedule for physical therapy by today which is Tuesday and then tomorrow there's none so I'll be replacing it with a exercise or going to the gym but unfortunately I don't think that's gonna happen right now both of my legs not really legs but the ankle of my feet are aching and I don't exactly know what to do um, well I really want to make sure that I'll be healthier because last night it was so devastating to actually feel or to hear the news about angeloxine and angeloxine is one of the most after I'm soft, soft sought after um, actresses here in the Philippines and I just found out that um, she has um, a this this bulge and and having a this this bulge um, I, I'm a little bit scared that is because if I'm having a slip disc already and I already have a disc herniation so that would you know cause me to this bulge anytime soon and we don't want that to happen as well so yeah i'm i'm a bit scared of that so his i mean she's quitting the role of being a darna which is a filipino hero and or a local hero and i don't know it, it makes me worse she's already an actress and giving up that role is you know is a huge impact to her and i know how difficult it is to sacrifice that and for me that i'm not actress yet i'm not on screen i really feel so terrible about my situation but anyways um i'll just see you guys in a bit okay good morning guys so i sound like Okay, baby, okay. Good morning, bug buddies! Good morning, guys! Um, today is Wednesday, and as you guys would know, I wasn't able to finish my vlog yesterday. I was so sad to actually do the vlog for the whole day, and I am really sad. Um, I don't know, but right now, I'm still mixed emotion. Um, so just to give you a story about what happened yesterday, let's get into the video. I went to the Asian hospital. When I came in, I went straight to the MaxiCare 
office for us to be able to get an LOA and then I went to the chapel and I found out that there's a rosary so I attended to it and then a mass after that so I'm so blessed because after the mass there is an anointing of the sick and um, I think it's like a crucifix yeah it's a crucifix that came from Vatican that they allow us to touch for the healing purposes as well and so I did that and I am so happy because I did um, after putting like an oil in my forehead by the you know priest I feel a lot better and so I went to the physical therapy or rehab center um, in the Asian hospital and so I got my regular um, physical therapy it has been done there and my therapist yesterday was RJ and RJ was so incredibly good at it um, like my pain went away for you know a couple of hours and then I went home straight here and um, after I, I mean when I get on or when I came in here I actually just ate a lunch technically a snack already because I came here like around 4 4 30 I believe yeah 4 30 in the afternoon and so after that um, I went to sleep I actually watched a couple of videos and then I went to sleep I have in my mind that I will be going to work because I feel better I feel okay and so I woke up like 12 o'clock um, in the afternoon and if I mean no midnight I don't know what I'm talking about Arrgh! um so I woke up like 11 30 in the evening so I ate my dinner slash breakfast because it's technically my morning and so my supervisor texted me asking how I am that is so sweet of her to text me and I really really do appreciate that guys and after she texted me that of of course i told her that how i really feel that i feel better so far and that um i feel like i'm going to work because i better i'm not feeling any pain and so she asked me if by any chance any doctor or therapist advised me to actually go on rest um to extend the rest i told her the truth and I told her that the therapist actually told me that it's better to rest and um, you know especially if there's a pain and numbness and I told that to my supervisor and um, she advised me to actually consult my specialist again I haven't um, told to my doctor yet Dr. Carlo or neither Dr. Obispo because Dr. Carlo will be having a schedule by Thursday and then Dr. Obispo will be having a schedule by Saturday so um i'm i'm not really sure when i will be going there i haven't texted or messaged dr carlo yet with regard to my condition but i am so skeptical going to him because the last time that we talked he said that it's really a surgical thing already because it's my third month out of the hospital i mean from the moment that i got hospitalized and um the pain are still coming back and for me I you know he's just thinking about my welfare but for me there was an improvement for two weeks that there's really no pain and that I was able to go into the um, into work and so I think there's just really a need for me to to be to take seriously about the therapy medication and all that and making myself better so I think I badly need that so I am thinking of texting him right now or calling him rather and then I'll take it from there so it's four minutes now and I'm not sure if um, you guys would still watch it because it's a little bit boring I'm sorry if I'm not jumpy if I'm not that so happy that is because there's a lot of things clouded in my mind right now like how about my work how about our finances how about our payables for the upcoming um, 30th and my YouTube is not updated what should I do um, and I know that YouTube should be the least thing that I should worry about but I just feel the need of doing this because I am motivated every time that I'm doing it and 
I feel like I have to do something nice, I have to do something better, something that would benefit a lot of people because, you know, I, I'm in YouTube and everyone can see it, even a younger kid, so I have to be very watchful of what I am doing and as much as possible make it as inspirational as it is. Anyways, guys, so my plan today right, uh, right now is actually, it's already, I guess, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Time flies so fast and I'm not really a morning person, guys, so I woke up like 10 or 11 in the morning. And so I would actually be updating my planner, which I haven't pulled it out yet. I would update the planner. I would go online to check something. And then um, I'll be cleaning this mess because, of course, there's like a mess right here again. So I'll be cleaning this mess. And then I'll be, after doing stuffs, updating planners and all that, I would be... Um, exercising a physical therapy exercise which I'll be vlogging as well so I would be showing you guys um, for for all of those people who subscribe to my channel and for um, several people who's asking me for a certain task or a certain challenge I still accept the challenge I just need to fix things um, for now and but I promise I'll get back to the challenge that you set up for me um, especially GMOD Hi, and I'm so sorry I wasn't able to do your challenge yet. That is because I don't want to put pressure to my hips yet. But I'm really, really looking forward for the challenge. I think it will be cool and it will be fun. So anyways, um, yeah, I would be doing that um, one of these days. Hopefully this week. No, I'll be honest, not this week. Um, because what you will be seeing on my channel for now is my blog every single day so i'll do my very best to record myself every day what the activity that i'll be doing because i'll be fo focusing on my strengths especially on my um, lower back and to my thighs and i think it's a core that's how they call it so core exercise and then i'll be really focusing on that guys and then i'll be doing like walking um, maybe around the village or maybe going to the town so I'm not pretty sure so I'll be definitely updating you guys about it um, I, I am up for the challenge today is the 22nd and it's Wednesday so if they would really because normally the doctor advises 14 days for rest so if they would give me a 14 days of rest then I'll be having until the end of the month to actually you know process this whole thing and I, I would really really um, think about it or I mean I would I don't know I, I would simply up for this challenge and I'll see what can happen in that couple of days moving starting today and moving forward um, try my best as well to go on a diet that I've seen a lot of times in the forums where and I'll be eating of course a different you know food from morning um, until the evening and that will be for the next two weeks so I, I wanted to try that if that would work for me so though some of the ingredients I don't know where to buy them like the bone broth so I'm not sure where to buy that but I'll definitely look for something else so that's it for me today guys um no not really but yeah um let's go ahead and start our day okay.